All right, let's dissect this paper on Archon, a framework for optimizing inference time architectures for LLMs. The authors claims significant performance gains. What's the core innovation here beyond just throwing more compute at the problem? The key is the automated search for the optimal combination of inference time techniques. It's not just about more samples or more models. It's about intelligently combining techniques like ensembling, fusion, ranking, critiquing, verification, and unit testing in a way that maximizes performance for a given task and compute budget. They've essentially created a neurals, uh, neural architecture search for inference time LLM systems. So it's like an automated LLM system architect. What kind of design space are we talking about? How flexible is Archon? Archon defines a highly extensible design space. You can plug in different LLMs, choose the number of samples per model, the number of models in an ensemble, and the sequence of inference time techniques. The framework is modular, allowing researchers to add new techniques relatively easily. The paper explores several configurations, but the possibilities are vast. The paper mentions three main challenges addressed by Archon. Can you elaborate on those? Absolutely. First, effectively utilizing inference compute. Simply increasing the number of model calls isn't always optimal. Different tasks benefit from different techniques. Second, understanding interactions between inference time techniques. The paper investigates how different combinations of techniques interact and affect performance. It's not simply additive. Third, efficiently and automatically building inference time architectures. Archon tackles the combinatorial explosion of possible architectures using automated search. The authors use Bayesian optimization for their architecture search. Why that method, and how does it compare to other approaches? Bayesian optimization is well suited for this problem because evaluating an architecture is computationally expensive. It intelligently explores the design space, balancing exploration, trying new configurations, and exploitation, focusing on promising ones. The paper compares it to random and greedy search, showing Bayesian optimization to be significantly more efficient in finding high-performing architectures. The results are impressive, with claims of outperforming GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 on several benchmarks. How robust are these gains across different tasks? The performance improvements are quite consistent across instruction following, reasoning, and coding benchmarks. However, the optimal Archon architecture varies depending on the task. For coding, for example, they found that increased sampling combined with unit test generation and evaluation was particularly effective. For instruction following, layering critics, rankers, and fusers proved beneficial. Interesting. So it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. What are some of the limitations of Archon as presented in the paper? The paper acknowledges several limitations. First, Archon is computationally expensive and increases latency compared to single-call LLMs. Second, it's most effective with larger LLMs. 70B parameters or more. Smaller models show significantly reduced performance. Third, only a limited set of inference time techniques were explored. There's room for expanding the framework with new techniques. The authors mention the importance of scaling inference layers. Can you elaborate on what that means in the context of Archon? Scaling inference layers refers to adding more layers of inference time techniques. Think of it like adding layers in a neural network. Each layer performs a specific operation energy, generation, fusion, ranking. Adding more layers allows for iterative refinement of the responses, leading to improved performance, particularly for complex tasks. However, the paper also shows diminishing returns beyond a certain number of layers for some tasks. The paper highlights the interaction between different components. Are there any particularly synergistic combinations that stood out? Yes, the combination of critic, ranker, and fuser layers proved highly effective across many benchmarks. The critic provides feedback on candidate responses, the ranker orders them, and the fuser combines the top-ranked responses. This iterative process of critique, ranking, and fusion leads to significant improvements. What about the unit test generation and evaluation? How does that fit into the overall picture? Unit test generation and evaluation are particularly useful for reasoning and coding tasks. The LLM generates unit tests to assess the correctness of candidate responses. This adds a layer of verification, improving the reliability of the final output, especially for tasks where correctness is crucial. The paper also explores the difference between task-specific and general-purpose Archon architectures. What were the key findings there? They found that while task-specific architectures generally perform slightly better, the general-purpose architectures, optimized across multiple benchmarks, still achieve very competitive results. 
This demonstrates the robustness of the automated search process and the potential for creating general purpose inference time systems. Given the cost and latency implications, what are the ideal use cases for Archon? Archon is best suited for applications where high accuracy is paramount and the additional compute cost and latency are justifiable. This includes domains like scientific research, complex problem solving, and critical decision-making systems where the cost of errors is high. What are some of the key takeaways for researchers and practitioners interested in building better LLM systems? Archon demonstrates the power of automated architecture search for optimizing inference time LLM systems. It highlights the importance of considering the interplay between different inference time techniques and tailoring the architecture to the specific task and compute budget. The modularity of Archon makes it a valuable tool for future research and development in this area. This has been a great discussion on Archon and its implications for LLM optimization. Thank you.